pretty sure that I say this every single month. This is my favorite video to film that I do once a month and it is monthly favorites. So we're gonna get into what I loved and what I wasn't so crazy about this month. I hope that you do enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and if you're new to my channel, a special welcome to you and I hope you do decide to subscribe and become a part of our YouTube family. And so let's get into July monthly favorites and fails right now. All right, a few of the fails for me this month. I'm not gonna take a lot of time um, this is the Maybelline lifter gloss. I don't feel like it was any spectacular gloss at all. As a matter of fact, it was a little bit thin for me. Um, it's just a plain gloss. There's nothing really good or bad about it, but I feel like for the price, it could have given a little bit more on what it was talking about, about being lifting. I think of that as being plumping. There wasn't any of that. And I did feel like it was just a little bit too sticky. And you know, sometimes when you get that sticky gloss and you kind of do your lips together as you're talking and you get those little stringy things. I kind of felt like it did that. So this was a fail for me this month. And then also was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Highlighting Palette. I didn't really feel like this was a highlighting palette. I just feel like there's a whole lot of really light colored powders in here, which they're not bad powders, but when I'm looking for a highlight, I'm not just looking for powders. So I kind of felt like this fell short as well. This is Florence by Mills and this is their 16 wishes palette and i will tell you two things first of all i didn't feel like the actual product inside here there is a bunch of eyeshadows in here i don't feel like they were that great but these all come in compartments so these come apart like this and this magnet isn't strong enough to keep this like it's falling apart all the time so if you were going to travel with it you could of course you know collapse it down but for me that kind of defeats the purpose of having an actual palette so I kind of just wasn't that impressed with what was inside and then when the packaging fell short it just really was something that I really didn't like that much and then from essence this is their new my skin perfection tinted primer this is a nice tint to it it doesn't have like a weird tint or anything it doesn't like show up on your skin too much but i will tell you that this just feels like your regular dimethic dimethicone product or the silicone product it was a little bit too heavy for my mature skin i do like having a silicone product because i do feel like that does help fill in the pores some but i feel like this particularly was just too heavy too thick too much silicone in it without anything else to be able to slide over the skin and make the skin look nice. And I just lost half of my stuff on the floor there. <laughs> so that's why I don't really care for that one. And then I bought a bunch of Sydney Grace's single shadows this month and I didn't have anything to put them in. So I just picked up these two empty palettes off of Amazon and I really do like these. Now, of course, I've got all of the purple ones that I bought in here. I love these shadows, you guys. They are really, really a great formula. Sydney Grace just does such a good job. Now, this one that is the leopard print, it doesn't have a mirror in it. But the one that is that shimmer kind of holographic fish scale look to it, it does have a mirror in it. So that's nice about it. So I really do like both of these. They have really sturdy construction. And this is like a plastic material. It's not a fabric material. So that's good because it can wipe up a little bit easier. So really have been enjoying those. And if you're interested in knowing which ones I purchased off of Sydney Grace and which ones I'm really liking a lot, let me know that because I can kind of do a little bit of a video for you. Can throw um, a list up on Facebook or Instagram also for you so you guys have that. And then along the same lines of a palette, I picked this one up from Essence. This is the Witch Side Eyeshadow Palette. And this one has uh, 15 shadows in there. And this one reminds me so much of the Huda Beauty New Nudes Palette. But there are a lot deeper tones over here. You have a lot of grays in here as well. So I do like that about it a little bit more for the coloration than I like the new nudes palette and the formulation on this is really pretty good for it being such an inexpensive palette I can't remember whether it was 10 or 15 I thought that they did a great job in these shadows I do really like their shimmers in here their higher metallics are so pretty and then their mattes seem to be really really soft and I really do like
like that about them too. So I feel like if you were to pick this up, you wouldn't be disappointed in it at all. I do feel like the formula, the blendability, and the wear time is really good. I do know that you're going to need an eyeshadow primer with this to make them cling a little bit more. I'm really enjoying this. And I think that the packaging, they really did a good job on too. It's kind of cool how they did that packaging. All right, last month I put out a question as to what are the best tweezers? And it's so funny because I got really basically just two answers. One was the tweezer man and the other one was the elf tweezers and you all had said that the tweezer man were the ones that you really loved and that you just couldn't be without and then the elf ones are ones that you said that emily noel noel swears by now i have had these in the past and i feel like they do kind of wear out a little bit quicker but you guys when i tried the tweezer man ones they're breaking off my hair and i don't know if i'm holding this too tight because i'm so used to having to grip it tight or what or if i just got one that is really sharp maybe but it's breaking the hair off instead of pulling it out which kind of defeats the pro process when you're trying to you know pull out your eyebrow hairs because you know it just comes back like within a couple of days so i'm really enjoying the elf ones it seems to grip them really well pull them out it can be really really precise which i love about that which is what i was thinking i would love about the tweezer man but at the same time, I'm just not reaching for these because they break off my hair and these ones don't. So just a little heads up there. Maybe I got a bad one. Let me know in the comment section. I have several skincare items that I'm really excited about this month. And a couple of these I heard off of Penny's channel. This one from Derma E is the Firming DMAE Serum. And Penny talked about this and how she was enjoying it herself and how much she appreciated it for being a firming serum. And I've had it for two weeks and I do feel like it's really helping. When you put it on, you can actually feel the firming effects of it. Now, long term, we will wait and see because obviously in two weeks, you can't, you know, have something that's going to firm your face in just two weeks. But I really am enjoying this so far. And I do feel like when I put it on that it does give a lot of help to my sagging neck and my sagging gels. So I'm enjoying that one. Okay, so I want to read from you what this one is. This is one that I found off of um, Penny's channel as well. This is from Isn't Tree. It's TW Real Bifida Ampule. And it says Tone and Wrinkle Care Ampule. Highly functional ampule containing highly concentrated bifida ferment lysate and triple peptide to firm up skin. So that sounds great, right? But what I really appreciated is that Penny broke this down as far as the ingredients. And it was the ingredients that were like the Genifique Serum. As a matter of fact, she says this has more of the Bifida in it than the Genifique Serum does. So I'm really excited about this. I've been using this morning and night. It does come in quite a bit bigger. It's 1.69 fluid ounces. And so I will compare that up on the screen to what the Genifique is. And I'm just really excited to get on board with this and see what the long term of this is going to be because it is so, supposed to be so good for being able to restore a youthful complexion and being able to help with firmness. And that's kind of where I'm at right now is really trying to figure out what's going to help firm my neck, firm my jowls. That's kind of where I'm at after losing all that weight. And so it's kind of one of those things I'm going, I need as much help as I can get. And then this one right here is from Imagine Dermatology Hyaluronic Hydration Honey. This is supercharged moisture complex and it has um, an amino acid complex, hyaluronic acid. It has polyglutamine acid it has sodium PSA urea um, lactic acid dermal amino acid complex it just has really good ingredients and this one I heard from one of you guys you had told me about this so I'm really excited to use this and I love using it because it does seem to help my skin stay so plumped and just really have a lot of hydration in, in it and you guys know how much I love my urea products anyway for moisture so this has all kinds of other really good ingredients in it and again this is a pretty good size bottle so I'm excited about that this one was sent to me from dermatology and this one I am so excited about. This is a tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 46. You guys, this is so nice. If you have aging skin and you're worried about um, have getting enough SPF, but that those SPF sometimes really dry you out unless you get one that feels way too oily, this is so light and it feels so nice. And it really, really does hydrate the skin at the same time as perfecting it. And I just have been enjoying this wholeheartedly 
wholeheartedly. This is one that I'm going to repurchase even though it was sent to me. I'm excited about it. I think it's only around $20 for this and I think that's a pretty good size, especially when it's something that has good ingredients on it for your face and it's something that's not going to dry me out. That's a double bonus for me. And then the next one is something I'm really excited about for the winter time. Now, right now, this isn't as important to me, but I'm so glad that I went ahead and picked this up. And this I heard from my friend Mary at Glitzy Fritzy. I'll make sure that I link all these channels below so you guys can know about them. But this is the Bella Jade Makeup Setting Spray. This has no alcohol in it. Basically, it has DMAE and MSN in MSN msm in it to work together to make it a uh, moisturizing and nourishing spray and i really like this stuff you guys so you're not going to feel any tightness you're not going to feel any drying if you have mature skin and i've been just loving it and it's a it's not the greatest mist you know you guys i have a pet peeve about these misters not being that great it's okay it's not the greatest one it comes out a little bit too heavy but at least it doesn't spit any droplets at me <laughs> which is my biggest pet peeve but i have been loving this and all of its really good ingredients for the face as far as setting my makeup down when i'm all done kind of takes away that whole powdery look too all right i have three high-end products that i am super excited about you guys and you know when i start talking about high-end products i don't do that lightly because i know how much we all need to save money and it's so important to all of us to be able to pinch our pennies and be really on top of it where our budget is concerned. And I am no different. I am always the bargain shopper. <laughs> but when these products came out, there were products that I was like, I think I need to go ahead and try them and see what all the fuss is about and then tell my subscribers about yay or nay on them. The next one is something that when I saw this, I, it, there's so much hype around the Fenty Beauty cream blushes and her bronzers that I was kind of like, I don't know if I really want to pick it up. I realize how good Fenty is. I have had a lot of her products and I do really like a lot of her products, but I was like, is it going to be one that I'm going to be, you know, really sad that if I don't go out and get it. But when I saw this color, which is amber, which first of all, you guys, I don't know why it's called amber because this is as far away from the color amber as you can possibly get. As far as I'm concerned, this is the, ni the nicest cream contour I think I've ever used, you guys, because you know me, I'm always looking for that muddy color, that color that will give a shadow instead of standing out, that color that does not give tan. It is definitely a very, very cool tone. I am using it today. I did go a little bit stark because I wanted to show you guys how well it does. I don't think that you can see it right here on my jawline though. And it just blends out so well and blends in with the rest of the makeup. And then right here, you know, doing the contour on my cheeks, bringing down that high forehead. You guys, I put it up in my hair. I feel like it's just that good of a product. It's not one that is so emollient that it's gonna move around on you. It kind of sets down almost to a powder. I don't feel like it's tacky in any way. I feel like it's, you know, gonna be there all day and I really have been loving this. I have a pretty good divot in it because I did get it when it very first came out and I didn't wanna talk about it until I was absolutely sure that this was gonna be as good as my Sephora Second Chance um, contour that I talk about all the time, which I still have, still use, still love, but I do feel like this is a really, really good one. And especially if you're somebody that loves cream products, this is a fantastic cream product. Now, okay, this is from Hourglass and this is their brand new powder that they just came out with this month. And I jumped on this so fast, you guys, because I love their powders. I think their powders are so beautiful. This is their Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. And this is so pretty, you guys. Okay, so what this is, is a hybrid. It's two of their Ambient Powders mixed with one of their Ambient Highlight Powders. And you guys, this is beautiful on the skin. I am wearing it just as a light dusting across all of my skin today. I hope that they do come out with a bunch of other shades on this because it's a beautiful, beautiful powder. I went ahead and bought the big one because I know how much I do love these, but it is kind of an expensive thing. I will tell you guys that even though I think it's a fantastic product, I do still think that you have a dupe in the Milani Prep Set and Glow. So uh, if you're feeling bad that you can't afford something like this, don't feel bad because I feel like when I reach for my Milani, 
I get kind of the same effect that I do from this one. I love this powder. It feels very soft. I love the color of it. I love what it does for my skin and my under eyes. I do set my under eyes with it. It doesn't um, feel like it is setting down like a regular powder would. It just feels like it's a very light, airy feel underneath there, which you can get from the Milani product too. But if you're somebody that has been wanting to know about this and has been wanting to know about it for mature skin, I can unequivocally tell you that it's a beautiful, beautiful product. And I'm so glad that I did go ahead and splurge on it and get it. When I did my top foundations at the drugstore, you guys were talking about the number seven match made foundation drops. I had put three different foundations from number seven in that video, loved them. And I had these, but I hadn't really given them a try yet because I was trying so many others. And I realized that these were just a mix and drop. These are so good, you guys. And I absolutely love them. And you guys, you're hundred percent right. I'm so glad that I actually did get a chance to get these. You can put these in with anything. If you want to put them in with a sunscreen, if you want to put them in with your moisturizer, whatever, just for a light color across your face, it does that. So you can mix them with anything you want to and you get a tinted moisturizer, you get a tinted primer, whatever you want. You could create your own BB cream, your own CC cream, whatever you want to do. And I think these are so good, you guys. And I just absolutely love them. And they are just a very watery, very light product. Honestly, all you need is just one single drop right there. It's just one single drop. And that is going to give you a huge amount of coverage. So if you're somebody that really has just shied away from foundation because you just feel like it's too heavy, you don't like the way your skin looks, give something like this a try because you can just look how good it covered my finger. <laughs> Give something like this a try because you can really just mix a very small amount in it Get that tint get a little bit of coverage and yet not have it show up anything on your mature skin I think these are so fantastic. Also, I got this yummy gloss from L'Oreal unlike the Maybelline one This one is the gold mirage crushed quartz. Now. This is a beautiful kind of a little bit heavier formula But I like a little bit heavier formula, but it's not sticky and I love that about it. And it just seems to make my lips so juicy. The applicator on it does have a little well in there. So you get quite a bit on there as you're using it. Doesn't have any grit in it. You know, it's got this um, pink color to it, but it really doesn't show up much of a pink color. Maybe a little bit of a tinge there of pink. I think this is a great formula. It does have kind of a fruity fragrance, almost a vanilla fruit fragrance to it, kind of like the Fenty does too. So I think that they're probably trying to dupe that. It doesn't have any, you know, menthol or camphor, anything in it. So you're not getting any sort of tingling or lip plumping effect to it. Um, like the Fenty doesn't either. But I do know that this comes in several different colors and I really do like it. I feel like it's a really good gloss that was felt really nourishing and when it wore off, it wore off really well. So I can recommend that. And as a last product from Revlon, their Skin Lights, I did grab their bronzer and this highlighter. But it is such a glowy, beautiful highlighter, you guys. I loved that they did this um, little design across the top, the imprint on there. It reminded me so much of the Amrezy one kind of in color and everything else. Anastasia came out with their Amrezy a long time ago and it was kind of a breakout product as far as highlighters go at the time. Well, now we see these highlighters everywhere, but this just gives a beautiful glow to the skin without being um, too beaming unless you were to build it and build it and build it. And I just hit my cheeks with it that today. So I just think it's so pretty. Usually what I try to do is stick with an icy champagne color and that's what this one was. And I really do like that a lot. So that is it for this month's favorites, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy seeing so many skincare items in here. I was really excited to be able to bring those to you this time. Thanks so much for spending a bit of your day with me. Tell me in the comment section if you did have any favorites this month that you picked up that you're just like overjoyed about and that you're loving. I would love to hear that. Or things maybe in your stash that you rediscovered that you're loving too. So have a great week or weekend wherever this video does hit you. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. I love you all very much. Stay safe, stay sanitized, stay hydrated, stay healthy, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.